bended knees and shuffling feet, pulling hair to create the mop to be used as another unprotected attempt at sanitation begins. Wiping up sickness, vomit, spit, and shit of yesteryear's leftovers. Pushing through byways, highways, mineways, and lieways of long abandoned corridors of connected memories. Forcing myself along, linked together hallways, long put away emotions. Stirring up, picking up, kicking up, licking up dust, mildew, asbestos, black mold. Slowly poisoning my thoughts, one syllable at a time. Layered, caked on, built up, centuries and seconds, eons and minutes of regret, anger, sadness, pain, heartache, lost, all spewed, splattered, plastered onto and into the sheetrock of the soft tissue interior of a fractured, fleeting, failing, left forgotten wing of this asylum of my mind. Overwhelmed by conflicting, consorting, consuming, chaotic assortment of clutter, I start twisting, slipping, stumbling, punching, flailing with what little fight I have left. I can't stay here no more. I'm being sucked in, stirred up, dragged back into shadows. So I scrambled, I bolt, I turn to return, back up, I go back. Go back towards the way that reads exit. As I reach for the knob of the neglected, imposing, invisible barrier, I become frozen in place. Then I hear that all so familiar voice of the devil I know. Pick your poison, the bitch demanded. Stay here and soak in the acid you made. Leave here and smoke the toxins you crave. Not much of a choice that bitch devil gave. But I'm not that afraid for my body to die. I'm forever terrified to be caught in my mind. So I smoke another cigarette, then another, then a pack. I'd rather die from the marble man, candy man, sand man, than be locked with my devil forever and trapped. Ever land echo, Nova Sky.